Okay, so today we're going to talk about theater etiquette. In theater, you're not like the actors can see and hear almost everything you can do. So even if you think you're sly, you're not. You can all hear you. So it's very important to have your phone turned off and put away because the light can distract people and the noise can also distract people. It can also just interrupt a really good scene, break the con can um, break concentration at the actor and just like people can't hear what you're saying, what your actors are saying, which ruins the moment completely. And flashing lights can blind an actor and actually make them fall off the stage, which is very bad. Stages are very high and will hurt. And then along with food, like with, you're not supposed to have any food in the theater because that can also be distracting through chewing and eating. And if you have a cough or if you need to sneeze, it's best to try and suppress those or bring cough drops, but have the cough drops pre unwrapped so you can pop them in and not make any crinkling noises. And those are some basic rules of theater. Previously in the past, you didn't really have to worry about the phone thing because they weren't invented yet. And then you just had to really be quiet and you just react to the play of laughing and gasping at appropriate times. But now with the invention of new technologies where recording and phones can like really just interrupt the play. Also, there's copyright, copyright laws, so you cannot record at all during plays. And it's all changed from that time period. So nowadays, there's more experimental plays that actually do want you to like be more interactive, like Rocky Horror Show. They will like let you come up and be part of the actual experience of the play, whether they have you do some parts of the lines, or they'll get suggestions for you, or they'll have you just give them something to do or like be a part of your production in some way. And so that will change the way the theater etiquette is because then you do have to kind of break it because you're not supposed to talk during a play but during some shows they want you to because you're now a part of the show. You are an actor in it in that way. And that's theater etiquette.